Well, I finally got it to work, and I'm not going to tell you what I was doing wrong, so you'll just have to believe me that I was doing something wrong, but I figured out what the problem was. So, you see that? Is that amazing? There it is. I've got a little bit of honey coming out of there. I think what I'll do is try to work it on this guy as well and see if I can get this one to work a little bit. See if I can just do this on it like this. Okay. Oops. Alright, there's my and see that honey, I don't have to do any kind of messing with it. As far as messing with it, what I mean is extracting it or anything. Let's see if any comes out of there. I'm gonna get a little honey out of that one. And maybe I'll do this one over here and see if I can get some honey out of that too. Let's move this just a little closer. Okay. Yeah. You see that? Okay. Now you see, I got two little bits of honey coming out of there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That's my little flow hive. Some should be coming out of that one. It's not right yet. But there we have it. That's how they're supposed to work. Although they should be full and they're not full, they're just kind of barely full. Kind of neat though. They were not full of honey. That hive in uh, Pearl, no, in uh, Denham Springs was not the best hive in the world and I think I probably lost it. But there you have it. That's kind of, that's the flow hive working as advertised. Here comes some more honey out of the one way over there on the right. You see it? There we go. Honey that I don't have to do any filtering at all. It's just coming straight out of the hive. Pure as can be. So I think what I'll try to do is move over here and get that guy as well. What do you think? Well, I don't know if you're getting that now because I'm kind of smooching around. Well, you don't need to see me turn the crank. All you need to do is see the honey come out. Should get some more. Yeah, I barely see it. Here it comes. See, if I was smart, what I'd get is some jars and put it in the jars already. But I'm not that smart, unfortunately. The wind needs to quit blowing, and it looks like it might rain a little bit, so when that happens, I guess I'll have to either move this inside or quit doing it. You see how pretty that honey is. And those bees. Didn't mind giving it up. 
Yeah, yeah, eh, 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 eh. stop wind. There wasn't a lot of honey if uh, if they had been full, you can imagine how full those jars would have been. But wasn't full of honey, but I did get some. All right, I think I'm going to stop this because you see the theory behind this. Normally, I just leave this on the beehive. The beehive was good. You saw what was happening there in Denham Springs. I'm sorry it happened. I don't know what happened to those. Oh, I know what happened. They, they swarmed. That's exactly what happened. So I don't know if I'm going to have any bees left over there. There was a little bit of, uh, of brood in that one box. But anyhow, here you go. Life on the Clemens Apiary. I love it.